Welcome, welcome to Name Hero. I'm Ryan, the founder and CEO. Today I want to talk about add on domains and how to set one up with your web hosting package here at NameHero.com. So before we start into the tutorial, I want to talk a little bit about our web hosting packages and which ones allow for add on domains as well as what is an add on domain. So we're going to scroll on down here and you'll see right here on our main page our four web hosting packages. Now we've tailored these packages specifically towards individuals and small businesses of all shapes and sizes. So if you're setting up your first blog as an individual, that's great. You know, we've got our starter package here. If you're a business, maybe you're an e-commerce website and you're already selling or you have an online store and you need plenty of resources, then we have our business cloud over here. And if you're just, you know, kind of in between, you're, you're, you're larger than just an individual website, and, but you're not yet selling full on e-commerce, we have our Turbo Cloud package here, which is by far our most popular package at Name Hero. And you'll see we even put on here most popular. And this is genuinely, genuinely where I recommend people start out um, that already have an established business online. Now again, I understand, especially if you're a startup and your budget's tight, then you, know, you can look at our Starter Cloud or even our Plus Cloud to give you a little bit more flexibility. But for today's tutorial, we're talking specifically about add-on domains. So you'll notice the very top feature of all these packages is the number of websites that you can host under each package. So our Starter Cloud, it only allows for one website. So you can only host one website, one domain um, with this package here. So today, since we're talking about add-on domains, we're going to be only referring to these packages here because the starter cloud, that's not um, possible to add an extra website onto it. And so if you have the plus cloud package, you get to host the main domain plus six additional websites. If you have the turbo or business, then you can host unlimited domains or unlimited websites with your package as long as you fall within these resources. And so again, that's why the turbo is so popular because it gives you that flexibility, you know, more than just seven websites, which is six add-on domains plus your one primary. And it also gives you three gigs of RAM, unlimited storage as long as you stay within the 500,000 inodes, or also referred to as files, so the number of files that you're going to be hosting with your websites. Um, this also counts emails, so if you have email accounts you plan on hosting with us, please keep that in mind. And then our business package, you know, it allows the same inode limit. However, it has four gigs of RAM, so you're going to get a little bit more um, performance out of this package. You also have some additional features to that package here. And so today I'm going to demonstrate actually on our business cloud package, but um, it's pretty much the same with Turbo, just you get a little bit more power with the business package. So that's the difference between these. And remember, at Name Hero, we try to make all of our packages extremely easy to scale up. So if you say, Ryan, you know, I only have one domain right now, and I'm not interested in add-on domains at this time, well, that's fine. You know, go with our starter cloud. As you grow, you can easily upgrade right inside of our interface, and then you can immediately have access to these extra resources and the ability to add add-on domains. So again, don't feel like you're excluded completely. You know, if you are on that tight budget, I completely understand. I've had many startups over the last two decades. So, you know, get started there and then you can grow um, as your business grows. Okay, so to get started, I wanna show you how to set up these add-on domains or just an additional website to your hosting package. So I already have my account set up, so I'm not gonna go through the registration of the package in this video. I'm just gonna log into my existing account. So if you're following along, then you can go up here to the top and you can click on account. Okay, so for this, I need to go ahead and enter my username and then my password. I've got it on my clipboard, hopefully. Let's see. Oops, just one second. Right here. And throw that in there. Okay, so now we're logged in. This is the Name Hero client portal, and this is where we manage all of our websites, hosting packages, and our domains. So I'm going to click on My Cloud to go to my business cloud package I'm going to demonstrate with. And I've got several in here because this is my demo account. But I'm going to scroll down here to Business Cloud. Um, I'm using keydiets.com as my demonstration domain. I'll click on that. And you can see right here I've got all the information about my web hosting package here at Name Hero. So this, again, this is the Business Cloud. And remember, our Business Cloud allows for unlimited websites. So now I need to go into cPanel so I can begin to set up my additional website. 
So if I look right here, I'll see a link that says log in to cPanel. And I also have it here on the left, so two places. Once I click that, I'm brought right inside of cPanel. And so cPanel, it is the master control panel. This is where you can install WordPress, where you can set up email accounts, or where you can access all the files to your website or even um, your MySQL databases. But I specifically, I'm looking for add-on domains. So up here at the top, you'll see this search tools box. Um, I really like this because it saves me time from hunting all these icons here. So I'm just going to type in add on and you'll see here I've got domains. Create, manage, and delete multiple domains. That'll take me right here. Okay, so my main domain is Key Diets. I already have a subdomain set up here, but I want to add an extra domain to my hosting package. So let's go right back over here to Name Hero really quick. And I've got the domain actually in my Name Hero account. So I'm going to go to Domains and My Domains. And today, for demonstration purposes, we're going to add Website Aid. So let's search, see WebsiteAid.com. We're going to add this to our hosting package. So now, once at the end of this video and we have this added, then we can create a whole new website on WebsiteAid.com using the same hosting package we have for KeyDiets.com. Okay, so this is going to be our domain. And so just to be keep things simple, I'm going to copy it. And I'm going to go back to the cPanel domains. And I want to create a new domain. All right. So now you can enter it right inside of here. So I'm just going to paste WebsiteAid.com. And now it says, all right, do I want to share the document root or do I want to create a new one? I don't want to share it. I'm going to create a new one. So I'm just going to have it in my home folder, WebsiteAid.com. That way I can find it. And you have to assign it a subdomain. This is just how cPanel sets things up. But we'll just keep it the default and click Submit. Just takes a moment for all the DNS to set up there. Now, while this goes ahead and sets everything up, I want to go over here to where my domain is, here. And I'm going to click on Name Servers. Because once I add it to cPanel, I need to set up my name servers to make sure they match that of my hosting package. And again, if that sounds complicated, don't worry. It is not super simple, and I'm going to walk you right through. So I'll go back over to here where my hosting package is. And you'll see for this specific hosting package, for my business cloud package, I'm using ns1 and ns2.namehero.com. So I need to make sure my add-on domain matches those. So I'll go back over to here, and I'm just going to paste these in here. Paste. And then we can just paste here and change this to NS2. And save it. Okay, now once I modify my name servers, most often in about one to two hours, it will begin resolving to the hosting package. Now, if you're in a country outside of the United States, sometimes this takes a little bit longer because it's dependent upon your local ISP, you know, however long it takes for them to propagate the name servers. In the United States, most ISPs do this within one to two hours. But I always tell customers, you know, don't go immediately. Like right now, if I just typed in WebsiteAid.com, it might not yet resolve because, again, it's been literally like two seconds since I submitted this change. Um, but if there's ever any doubt, you know, allow for a full 24 hours, you know, so you wouldn't want to do this if you're launching your site like today, you wouldn't want to do this the same day. You know, if I would wait to launch my site until tomorrow. Um, that way I'm ensured that the DNS is propagated worldwide. So anytime you're modifying name servers, I always like to say, even though it takes like an hour or two, go ahead and allow 24 hours for it to be available worldwide. Okay, now that that's done, let's go back to cPanel. And you can see I've got a success message here. Website aid has now been added. The document root is right here. So it's in our Key Diets account. And you can see right here, I can go ahead and manage it. And I can see that those details here. Here's my document root. Um, I don't have a redirect. You know, if I want to redirect this to another uh, website or maybe my existing site, I can do that in here. I've got the ability to start creating email addresses now at WebsiteAid.com. Um, I can create a site with um, Site Publisher. I can modify my DNS, or I can set up that redirect I was talking about. Now, I don't want to do any of that since I've already just set up my domain. What I want to do is I want to set up WordPress on WebsiteAid.com because let's say I'm setting up WebsiteAid as a completely different website than my Key Diets demo URL. So what I can do now is I can go to WordPress Manager. See it right here on the left side here? And now when I go over here, you can see, and I've actually got a demo created, so let me just remove that one. 
We're just going to remove this here. Just so I start fresh here. All right. Now it's gone. So let's go back to WordPress management. All right. So now if I want to install WordPress new, I just click install. And if I go to domains, you'll see website aid is right here now. So this is going to set me up a brand new WordPress website on websiteaid.com. I like to keep it HTTPS so it's secure. And we have this in directory field. So if I wanted to install WordPress, like in say slash blog, you know, I'd put it in here. But when someone goes to websiteaid.com, I want them to see my website right then and there. I don't want a subfolder. So I'll just leave this blank. It says what uh, version? I always recommend the latest version of WordPress, especially if it's a new website. Um, you know, I never recommend installing an older version of WordPress. Only if you're bringing over or migrating a site from maybe another provider, or maybe you already have like a WordPress website created and you have not yet updated it, do I suggest um, installing an older version. So I always recommend the latest and greatest version of WordPress um, for security and also for better performance. Okay, so I'm just going to do a quick install here. Um, you can put your site name and site description in here, but you can modify these later. So if you're not ready to you know, put a name to your website, then you don't have to really stress about this because it's going to automatically give you the ability to change that in the WordPress um, management interface. Um, the important part about this is your administration account. You want to set up a username and password to enter WordPress. And so you want to make this really strong because if someone has this username and password, then they essentially have access to the whole back end of your website. And so that's not good, you know, if they would get that. So I like to use some random characters in this. And I like to, you know, push this lock here to generate a secure password. And me, I'm security paranoid. So I copy this, click the lock again, and then I kind of double it. You know, I like 100 for 100 because, again, you know, this is going to give you full access to the back end, so you can never be too secure when creating your password. You want to make sure your password is always unique. Make sure your password has a combination of special characters. It has um, uppercase and lowercase in it, and it also has some numbers in it because that way, you know, a bot or a brute force attack, it's going to take it a long time to try to guess this bad boy here. And it's funny because as I publish this on YouTube, there's going to be bad actors that watch this very video that's going to try to access my back end of my website. So don't worry, after this video, I'm going to change this password since I've exposed it publicly. Uh, but anyway, since I haven't published this video, we're going to go with it. I'm going to note my username. Now, if you want the username to be a little bit more friendly, that's fine. Um, but, you know, even then, so I like to recommend, you know, add some numbers to it. So if I want to, like, call it R Gray, I might add, like, a 23 to it, right? So it's got some characters, and it's also got a number to it. Um, I do not recommend admin. You know, and you never want to use, like, admin and password. That's not good at all. So if you do want to add, you know, something unique to you, feel free to do that. But, again, add some numbers or something to it. You know, make it a little bit harder for an attacker to guess. Um, admin email. So in case you do get locked out, you know, you forget how oh, was my password, you can do a password reset. So I'm just going to enter Ryan at mainhero.com. And we'll keep going here. So I speak English, so I'll keep it there. I can add some automatic plugins to this if I want. Um, you know, Name Hero, we automatically have like a lot of these features on your account. So I'm not going to add any of these at this time. And then there's some advanced options. I'm going to leave these default. I recommend you leave these default too, unless you specifically know what you're doing here, um, because you can go and change this stuff later. If you want to add a theme, now a lot of our customers at Name Hero, they like to go bring their own theme. You know, they like to go search the internet and find a theme that works for whatever type of website they're going to create. Um, so feel free to do that. Um, if you just want to do like a default theme, you can do so, or you can click on Manage Themes. Oops, I'm sorry. You can go to, yes, manage theme set, show all themes, and you can find one. You know, these are free and come with your account at Name Hero, um, and you can just pick one out of here as well. So, again, you know, once you install these, you're going to automatically have a website that looks like this. Um, and some of these are pretty good, some of them are not so good. So, just look through them and, you know, see what's best for you. Since we're just doing a demo here, I'm going to use just the plain Jane 2023 um, template here. And again, I can always change this later, but this is what I'm going to use for this install. Now you can email these installation details. 
you can email them to yourself or if you have a developer or a business partner or maybe you've got a team member on your staff and you want to let them know hey i've installed wordpress for our new website you can email that to them so just for the heck of it i'll email it to myself and click install okay takes a couple minutes here just to run through but when finished i'm going to have a website set up at websitea.com whole new wordpress set up and i'm going to be able to start publishing my site so now when I click this link, again, since I just changed the name servers, it's about a 50-50 shot right now that it's gonna resolve. So let's see, drum roll please. Boom, okay, so it's resolving, but I don't have a secure certificate yet, and that's fine, auto SSL. We have free and automatic SSL here at Name Hero, meaning it's gonna generate a free SSL certificate, so things will be all good, but it takes a few hours as well. Once DNS starts resolving, it takes a little bit for everything to go through and propagate. So it might let me go through this. Yes. And so it did, but this will disappear. This warning is going to automatically disappear. Just give it about an hour for auto SSL to go in and run because it's going to check and make sure those name servers resolve. But now I've got a brand spanking new website at websitea.com and I'm using my same hosting package that I have for key diets. So I didn't have to go spend more money. You know, I've got the hosting package already and I'm ready to launch my brand new website. I also have my WordPress backend. If I go to websitea.com slash WP admin, I can log in and it's automatically gonna log me in using that username and password we created when we installed it. And I can start writing posts from our website. You can see it brings up the post editor. If I go back over to here, I can modify the pages. So I've got just some demo pages here I can modify. If I wanna change that template, I can go to appearance and I can do everything in here. But that's how it's done. That's how we add an extra website to our hosting package at Name Hero. And you can see it only takes a couple of minutes. It's super simple. Um, the only thing that you have to watch out for is once you change those name servers, it does take a little bit of time for like the auto SSL to populate and to make sure things are resolving worldwide. But now I've added my add-on domain and I'm ready to start my brand new website. So thanks a so bunch for watching and using us here at Name Hero. We look forward to helping you build your next website with us. We look forward to seeing you expand your account with us. And you know, we really enjoy passing these cost savings on to you. So we love watching startups grow into large companies and we love watching startups, you know, expand to other websites and to really make the most out of their web hosting package with us here at Name Hero. So thanks a so bunch for watching and using us here at namehero.com.